It's finally here. It's time to get your quick fix with the remix. I'm Remix This and I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. Guys and gals, I'm super excited because DirectX 11 is finally here. No, this is not a horrible April Fool's joke. I'm making this video at 11 o'clock at night and it won't be posted until after midnight, but I wanted to make sure I got some preliminary tests in. I'm sure everyone is wondering how this game has changed with the new API and I have mixed results, but they point to an overall positive direction. So what did I do? I ran some benchmarks on live about a week ago and got a base value for what my min, max, and average FPS are on several different settings. I used all the in-game settings of very low, low, medium, high, ultra, and then I used two custom INI settings. One was Eardar's settings which look good but fall into the lower medium category. And I used the super ultra settings located on the reddit forums with a couple minor tweaks like render distance of 3000. I plan on testing all the different settings later this week, but I simply tested the last two categories today. The hardware I'm using is an RX 570 uh, graphics card with a Ryzen 7 1700 and 16 gigabytes of RAM clocked at 2400 MHz. So what's the purpose of this test? We all know the game devs said they saw a 20% boost when they simply got the game running. I wanted to see where that 20% figure comes in. More specifically, GPU performance before and after and I want to track updates as I expect them to start happening over several weeks of patches and hotfixes as the game goes live. What was not tested was GPU or CPU utilization, only frame rates, so if someone wants to dive into this area more, I would highly encourage them to do so. As with all reviewers, take what I say with a grain of salt as your performance may vary. So let's get into it. My tests were run on Amrish and VR training, both on the live server in off-peak hours as well as the test server. The min and max will be displayed on the screen, but the average FPS for live were 123.4 for Amrish and 133.8 for VR. On DirectX 11 version, I got 128 FPS on Amrish and 118 in VR. This leaves us with a 4% gain in Amrish and a 12% loss on VR. So far, our tests don't look all that proper, but I ran them several times and came up with similar results. So let's move on to Ultra. In Ultra, we got 79.9 on Amrish and 69.6 in VR. And this is where the story gets interesting. On DirectX 11, we get 105.4 on Amrish and 98.2 in VR. And that means we had a gain of 25% and 30% respectively. So what we have are mixed preliminary results, but depending on your settings you can get different performance gains and losses. More testing will be required, but what this does make me hopeful for is that more bug fixes and patches may see greater performance gains over a long term. You may notice me running around in circles because I wanted to show you my direction of travel for my FPS tests. While I'm showing you this, I also want to talk about the test server a little. So while the game is playable on the test server, there are a lot of bugs, and the devs have stated they want to do some testing this weekend and next before they push it to live, so I wouldn't be too surprised if they try to encourage some good fights this weekend in order to stress test the servers and the API. The bugs I encountered are loading screens taking about 40 seconds when warping between continents while VR only takes about 10 seconds. And this is kind of odd because I play on a solid state drive so I shouldn't have very long loading screens. Uh, the double loading screen bug has made a return and vehicle husks won't despawn both in the warp gate and outside. I got a crash to desktop also which could be caused by a multitude of issues and at one point in VR training I got flickering and game stuttering on screen uh, using super ultra graphics and OBS was stuttering while recording. I haven't had this problem on live but I know OBS had recently updated so more tests will be required on this front. 
A positive note was I would only saw a loss of an 10% uh, average FPS uh, when using DirectX 11 while recording with OBS. So that points to a pretty awesome performance. Well, ladies and gents, that about wraps up these tests for now. I look forward to the future of Planetside, and as always, keep it real and keep it on Remix.